Hello, and welcome back. It turns out that L'Hopital's rule can be used not only for indeterminate forms of type 0 over 0, but also for indeterminate forms of type infinity over infinity. And here, infinity represents either positive infinity or negative infinity. So plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. In example 2, we're given a limit as x approaches infinity of x squared over e to the 3x. Now if you'll notice, both the top and the bottom are approaching infinity as x approaches infinity. When x gets larger and larger and larger in the positive direction, x squared gets larger and larger and larger in the positive direction, and e to the 3x also gets larger and larger and larger. So this is an infinity over infinity type of limit. And as we mentioned, it turns out we can use L'Hopital for these as well. which means we're going to take the derivative of the top and the bottom separately. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of e to the 3x involves a chain rule. So that'll be e to the 3x, but then times the derivative of 3x, which is 3. I'll just stick that out here in front. Then we look at this limit as if it were just a brand new limit. You know, Start the problem over again and think, OK, how do I evaluate this limit? Well, let's check to see what type of limit it is. And it looks like the top is approaching infinity as x approaches infinity. The bottom is also approaching infinity as x approaches infinity. The larger x, the bigger the top and the bottom both get. So we can take another L'Hopital step. The derivative of 2x on top will give you 2. The derivative of 3e to the 3x, well, e to the 3x had uh, one of the 3s pop out, so now we're going to get another 3 popping out to the front. So 3 times the original 3 that was there is 9. So another 3 pops out by the chain rule, gets multiplied. By popping out, I mean gets multiplied <laughs> to the front. Let's check to see what type we have here. Well, as x approaches infinity, the top is 2. It's 2 no matter what x is. So we can't use L'Hopital's rule anymore. In fact, I mean, we don't want to do it anyway. We're at the point where we can evaluate this limit without any kind of special rules. The top is staying at 2. The bottom is blowing up to positive infinity. So 2 over, quote, positive infinity, that's going to approach 0. And we're done. The next example says, look at the limit as x approaches infinity of ln x over 2 square root of x. Once again, the top and the bottom are approaching infinity. If you think about the graph of ln x as x approaches infinity, there's ln x. As x approaches infinity, ln x grows to infinity. There isn't any kind of cap on what ln x could be. It, it grows. It grows very, very, very slowly, but it still grows to infinity. Now this means we can use L'Hopital. So we'll take the derivative of ln x on top, and you get 1 over x for that. Take the derivative of the square root of x. Now, the square root of x, uh, we've done this in some previous videos, but one more time here. If you want to take the derivative of the square root of x, you can rewrite that as a half power. Multiply the half in front, subtract 1 from the exponent, and then bring this down to the bottom of the fraction as x to the half. So this is 1 over 2x to the half. You could write it as 1 over 2 square root of x, but um, it's okay. We're going to be simplifying this in just a moment, and we'll want to have those rational exponents. Now the 2's are going to cancel. And then we can write this as the limit 
as x approaches infinity of, well, 1 over x divided by 1 over this uh, x to the half is going to be the same thing as 1 over x, choose a different color, times the reciprocal of 1 over x to the half, which is x to the half over x. And if you think about that, you can divide these two. x to the half divided by x will be x to the 1 half minus 1 which is x to the negative one half. Or you can think like there's a, a x to the half that will cancel with one of these x to the halves down the bottom. Now, you don't really see an x to the half on the bottom, but you could think of x as being x to the half squared. And so one of the x to the halves can cancel. Uh, either way you do it, you'll end up with one over x to the half. So inside this limit, we're gonna have one over x to the half. One thing to notice is that after we took the first step of L'Hopital, you know, taking the derivative of the top and then derivative of the bottom separately, we didn't just keep barreling ahead with more L'Hopitals. Even though the limit as x approaches infinity of one over x is zero, and the limit as x approaches infinity of one over x to the half is zero, we could use another L'Hopital there, but we don't really want to do that. We want to eventually get to a limit that we can do without having to take a step of L'Hopital. L'Hopital is never going to give you the final limit as an answer, so we want to eventually stop using L'Hopital. And simplifying uh, the fraction, the big fraction, by dividing by the fraction, which means like multiplying by the reciprocal, doing all that simplification, we get a much simpler expression inside of the limit. And now we're able to evaluate that without having to do another L'Hopital. Whoops. <laughs> so this limit of 1 over x to the half as x approaches infinity is just going to be 0. Because again, the top is staying at a fixed number, the bottom is blowing up to infinity, and so overall the fractions are shrinking down to 0. So thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.